My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love, love you, Grandma. Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Hi everyone, Glamour here. Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday at Made with Love by Glamour, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. Today we're going to be making that super, super easy button up spring top. Believe me, it's super easy but adorable. <laughs> Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to let you know, as usual, the nail polish color of the day. I'm using Love My Nails and it's in the color Platinum. And then on top of that, I just have China Glaze Glitter. Okay, so I've just got the ring fingers with glitter and then just the tips of the rest of my nails in glitter. Alright, stay tuned and I will let you know what you need for this super easy tutorial. I'm using 100% cotton yarn, a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, also known as H, a pair of scissors, and tapestry needles, and you'll also be needing a few buttons. I'm going to be using four buttons. Okay, so to get started, we are going to make a chain. This can be for any size and I'm letting you know how to size it for whatever um, size of individual that you want this for, whether it's for a child, an adult, a teenager, or whatever. Just measure right under the armpits all the way down to however long you want it. If you want it just up to your jeans, then you would make a chain that long. If you want it past, then you would make it that long. If you want it midriff short, then you would make a chain that long. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I am going to be making a chain of 51. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. Make a slip knot. Okay. And now, like I said, I'm going to chain 51. Okay, so I have my 51 chains and now we are going to single crochet into the second stitch from the hook or the second chain from the hook. There's the first one, there's the second one. Just insert your hook, pull up a loop, now you have two, yarn over, go through two. And you're going to do that all the way down till you get to the very last chain. Okay, so I will meet you there. Here's my very last one. Don't think that's your last one. That's the slip knot that we made. This is your very last stitch right here, your very last chain. Okay, and because we're doing single crochets, we're going to chain one for the height of our single crochets. We're going to turn our work around and we're going to go right into that very first stitch right there. Okay, grabbing both sides of the V. See? Grabbing both sides of the V and doing single crochets all the way down to the other end. Okay, let me show you where the very last stitch is. Okay, that's not your very last stitch. This is right here. You will go into, you will grab that and that right there and that will be your very last stitch okay alrighty see you in a little bit okay so I didn't want to leave you to have to guess if whether or not you got into the right stitch right at the end or not so I thought I would finish it with you okay so like I said that's not your very last stitch right there if you were to make that your very last stitch and skip that one your work would start varying that way and then if you turned your work around and did it on the other end, it would start, it would be a triangle. So you want to get into the very last V right there, okay? And that's going to square your project out. There you go, see? Nice. Now chain one, because that's the height of our single crochet. Turn your work around. And I'm going to do this for either six to eight rows. And I'm going to tell you what's, why I'm not sure. Um, this is going to be the top and this is going to be the side where the buttons go. So you know how us ladies, um, from button to button, sometimes in between the buttons, it kind of opens depending on how tight our top is or how big our boobs are. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I want to make it eight 
in case the top opens a lot our bras won't show or if I just want to make it sick so I'm not sure so I'm gonna let you determine that for yourself so we're determining right now um, how wide we want this this is what we just did we just made chains and we just made our second row of single crochets and I can't tell if I want to go with just four rows or make I mean six rows or make it eight rows like this and then when I make the other side it'll flap over on top and there will be buttons right here um, but in case it gets too tight or we gain a little weight we don't want it to go like this and us see our skin so determine if you want six rows or eight rows for yourself okay I'll let you know when I get back how many I ended up doing but right now this is the end of my second row and I just chained one turned my work around and now I'm going right back into that very first stitch and this is the beginning of my third row okay so I decided to just stick with six rows so here's two four six rows and I'm almost at the end and I wanted to come on and show you what we are going to do next okay so there's my last stitch I'm gonna chain one I'm gonna turn my work around and now instead of going and inserting our hook here and grabbing both sides of the V what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the back part of the V only the back loop only for those of y'all that are new here's the first V right off of the hook there's the loop on the hook there's the first chain or V there's the second one we're not grabbing it from the first one we're grabbing it from this one right here the second one and we're just making a single crochet and you're gonna grab the next back loop yarn over and make your single crochet and let me get my kitty to quit grabbing my yarn okay that little kitty was having way too much fun with my yarn <laughs> okay so that's all we're going to do we're just going to grab the back loop or you could say the back part of the V and make single crochets all the way down till we get to the other end I think I will call this row one because this is six rows but then I'm gonna call this right here where I'm doing the back loops only I'm gonna call that row one okay so here I am nearing the end I've got two stitches to go one two there's one and here's my very last one so for those of y'all that are new you see this little um vertical little bar right there that's how you know that the V right in front of that is your very last stitch so I'm gonna grab the back loop single crochet chain one turn your work around and we're gonna go into the back loop of our second stitch there's our first one there's our second one so we're gonna grab the back loop again and we're gonna do that over and over and I will get my drawing out and show you how long we're gonna do that for okay that little flap right there we're done with that and now we're on our second row of this part that we're making so you're going to keep making these new stitches that I just showed you till you get all the way to the other side over here till it goes all the way around your chest your back and then when it gets to about here when you reach this part right here try it on you put the flap right in front of you when you get to about there that's where we're gonna stop and then we're gonna make rows of regular single crochets grabbing both sides of the V but you'll want to meet me back here I'm gonna do this for about a hundred and six rows okay so that's why I named that previous row row one because we did this for six rows and now we're gonna do this back loop stitch um, for I'm gonna do it for a hundred and six rows that's how that's how much I needed to go around my chest and back area and if you're doing this for a kid you might only need 80 you might only need 50 if you're doing this for a medium sized person you might need more than 106 this is pretty much going to be like for a size small like for the size of my mannequin um, so yeah just keep making rows and then keep trying it on the person you're making it for so I'll meet you back here when I am done with my hundred and sixth row 106 all right have fun guys 
but this is pretty much it and then we're gonna make straps okay so I am nearing the end of my hundred and sixth row of back loop only and I'm gonna finish this off with you and you have probably found that when you get close to the very last one sometimes this little um, stitch is a little hidden so I hope you grabbed every single one because I've been noticing that a lot of times it's curled up like that and you might forget to um, grab that very last one and maybe think that's your end one because it tends to curl up so I hope you've been finding the very last row or the very last stitch of every row because um, if not your work is going to start turning into a little triangle so if it is turning into a little triangle you might want to go back and undo some rows and figure out where you started going wrong okay so you see how I had to uncurl it to get to the very last stitch okay so that's my very last stitch of the hundred and sixth row I just chained one and now I'm going to turn my work around and now we're going to make three rows of regular single crochets grabbing both um, sides of the V both loops okay so to do that we just insert our hook right there right in front of that little vertical bar right into there and make your single crochets okay so that's what we're doing now okay so I'll see you back when we've got three rows of regular single crochets okay so I'm almost at the end of row three of my regular single crochets here's my last stitch I'm gonna chain one and turn my work around okay and so for row four we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna make single crochets through both sides of the V the whole stitch but we're going to make buttonholes I have never seen anyone do this before but this is kind of what I thought when I get to the end here I'm gonna try something to see if I can make little loops and I thought but how am I gonna do that without I mean as I'm actually still trying to crochet the row so anyway, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to single crochet, now that I've already chained one, single crochet for about two or three stitches. There's two, there's three. I'll do four single crochets. And then right here, I'm going to pull this up and that's going to be my buttonhole and I've got to make sure that it's going to go around my button which I can tell that it will so it's about one of my finger um, lengths so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to try to leave it at that length right there and then I'm going to hold on to it like this I'm going to go into the next stitch pick up some yarn and go right through it but hold on to this okay hold on to that because that's your buttonhole okay so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to single crochet into the next one the normal way and you see just tug up on that and there's your buttonhole right there that's what we're going to use to button our top with and then I single crochet into the next one so there's one and I'm gonna do this for ten single crochets ten regular ones here's two ten so I'm gonna put ten single crochets between button buttonholes okay so on this one I'm going to do my single crochet as normal but then I'm gonna lift up that loop try to make it match the other one I'm gonna hold on to it go into the next um, stitch pull it through but try to hold on to this loop right here so kind of tug on that so it doesn't close up on you okay so there's that and now go into the next 
single crochet and tug on your little buttonhole to make sure that it's not going to close. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so there's one, and now I'm going to put 10 more single crochets. Okay, so there's three so far because I had already done one, two, three, and I'm going to do that for 10 stitches and then on the 11th one I'm going to do the same thing make a buttonhole so I'm going to let you have at it and do the rest of your buttonholes I don't know how many buttonholes you need I don't know how long your top is so you might need more buttonholes than me so I will see you back at the end over here when you're done with your buttonholes all right have fun there's my last single crochet and we are finished yay told you this top was super easy now we're going to chain one to finish this off get our pair of scissors leave yourself a bit of a tail so you can weave it in and then pull that through and snug that down and you are finished okay now to sew your buttons on um the side that we made the six regular single crochets I'm going to cover two of those rows with this last little piece of four rows of single crochet. That's why I made this um, six so that I could cover these two in case your top ever opens up. You see, you'll still have no flesh showing. You'll have those two right there keeping you nice and covered up. Now you're going to have to determine where to put your buttons depending on where you put your little button holes that's where you're going to sew it. So mine is going to be probably right there at that divot is where I'm going to sew my buttons. So yeah, that's basically what the top is going to look like. This is going to go all the way around your chest area and down to your waist or however low you made this top for you. And now we are going to make straps for right here and right here. So we're going to make two straps. I'm going to show you how to make the first one and then I'll let you make the second one on your own. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so for your straps, I'm going to leave a bit of a tail so that we can use this to sew it on to the front of our top. And then I am going to chain 75 chains, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I actually ended up chaining 76 instead. So now that I have my 76 chains, I am going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. There's my first, there's my second. I'm going to go into the second one and I'm going to make single crochets all the way down my chain. Okay, and I will meet you at the other end. Okay, so I'm close to the end of my row now. Here's my last stitch. And I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And turn my work around. And now we're going to yarn over twice. And we're going to skip the first stitch because the chain is taking that space up. And we're going to go into the next one. Pull up a loop. Go through two. Pull up a loop. Go through two. Pull up a Whoops, I left a little string. Pull up a loop and go through the final two. And so those are triple crochets. We're going to do that all the way down to the end of the row. Here's my very last stitch. Okay, and I'm going to chain one and turn my work around. And I'm going to make a single crochet in all the stitches down to the end of the row. Okay, so I'm going to go right into that very first stitch. And I'm just going to make single crochets now. Okay, Okay, so here I am almost at the end here. And that is not my last stitch. Remember, we have to stitch into the very last one. So we're going to stitch into the top of the chain four that we made at the beginning. One, two, three, and right here. I'm going to stitch into there make a single crochet 
And now I'm going to chain one and turn my work around because remember that beginning long tail that I left so that we could use that to sew this on? Well now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to slip stitch all the way down to the other end so that I can leave a long tail over here as well. So that's one reason I'm going to slip stitch. The second is, <clears throat> you see how it looks a little bit different, this single crochet versus this single crochet, and then that little tiny area where the chain was, it's going to make, the, the slip stitch is going to make it match this side a bit more, okay? So, okay, so to make a slip stitch, go right into there, pull the yarn through, and through the loop that's on your hook and that's a slip stitch so you're going to do that all the way down pull the yarn through and through the one on your hook insert pick up your yarn and go through that one so do that all the way down to the other end and then leave yourself a long tail and i'll meet you down there here's my last stitch Alright, and then you're going to chain one, and you're going to leave yourself a bit of a tail, so that you can sew that onto your top. Alright, and now you're going to pull that through, and snug that down, and there's our strap. Adorable. Okay, so now go make yourself another one. <laughs> Alright, have fun. So to sew your straps on, now that you've got your buttons all sewed on, and as a matter of fact, you can um, sew your buttons with, depending on what kind of button you use, you can use regular thread if the button holes are small, or you can use yarn the way I did. I used yarn because of the type of button that it was. I was able to do that. So um, to sew your strap on, put this around you, fit this on, and then decide where you want your strap and I made mine long enough to where I could put about an inch or so inside and that's where you're going to sew it. You're going to use this long tail to sew it in with and then you're going to do the same thing in the back determine how where you want your strap to be and you're going to sew that in and you know hopefully you left enough to where there's about an inch that you can tuck in and sew in there and that's it. So yeah, that is what your top will look like, and I think it's adorable, and it was super easy, and I had a lot of fun teaching it to you. And one thing that you can do, once you have your straps on, you can um, single crochet around here and around the strap and down the back, and, and you can do that for a more finished look, and you can do the same thing on the inside. Start there, and then go all the way down. Um, and then down to the back of it, and then down the back of it this way, up the other strap, and then finish off over here. I don't know that I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know. So I haven't decided, but you can go ahead and surely do that. And I would love to see pictures when you guys are finished. So alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I sure enjoyed um, teaching it to you. I had a blast, and like I promised, it was super, super easy, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't wait to see pictures to see of what color yarn you used. And like I said in the beginning, I used 100% cotton because I don't like to crochet with wool or acrylic or anything else like that in the summertime. And this just breathes a lot better. So, all right, I can't wait to see pics. I will talk to you later. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves. And don't forget to love everyone you come in contact with. Alrighty guys, I love you. Bye! Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamos channel! channel.